Okay, in our last video we were impacting the Design Basics logo. This time we're going to look at this button right here that says Show Refinement. Now when it brings up the Show Refinement, all of a sudden it brings up this really scary looking thing. But we're not going to be afraid of this because we are computer website builder people. Alright, so I look down and I see that um, I want to change this a little bit. Uh, and I click on it and I notice that it changes my refinement, so to speak. It says um, the site background is unselected, the content area region is selected, all blocks are selected, all content items are unselected, the node 26, all secondary headers is selected, and all links are selected. So if something fits all of these criteria, it is going to be impacted. Now, just because all links is selected does not mean that all of the links on the website will be changed because you can see this is a link here and this is a link and that's not being impacted. But if I did want to impact all of the links, I could unselect this, unselect this, unselect this, and unselect that. Then you notice all of the links are impacted. Every last link and link on the page, all of these, all of those, the RSS feed, um, so let's say I wanted to change the font to Bradley Hand ITC for every link on the website. You notice it changes every link. I don't like that. Um, it's kind of unusable. So I'm going to go to Monaco. And it's nice spaced out block configuration. I like that. Now, let's say I wanted this particular node then. Or actually my, 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 uh, content titles to not be Monaco. I wanted them to be, uh, let's say, Georgia. Right, so I click that, and they're Georgia. Or are they? Now look down here. This one is still Monaco. So what I have to do is deselect node 26, and then I can look and see. Oh, that's selected. So I'm going to go back in here, and I'm going to select Georgia. Well, go to Monaco, and then back to Georgia. And you can see that it does it, puts everything back. One last thing to note on the refinement, you can click the down arrow and it gives you more information. The system main block, all blocks, all system blocks. And I can come over here and click this down arrow as well. All area regions, um, so on and so forth. And I could just do a whole mess of different things by clicking here, fiddling around, adjusting this and that and the other thing. Now, I could spend probably half an hour going through each possible, like I could select the search block and say, okay, sidebar A region and so on and so forth. Really, you just need to understand how the refinement works and play with it a little bit to get it to do what you want. As a final note, I'm going to select site background. You notice how all of the rest of the refinement changes. If all else fails and I want to change the background, the image, or color, I just do the site refinement, site background, and then I can change my color. And I'm going to change it to be this little bit uh, different color of blue. There we go. That looks a little bit more like jazz up at 3 a.m. playing a trombone and steel guitar or something. So I click OK. Click Publish, and there I go.